welcome to another vlog. Today, I'm going back to college. TCU invited me in to go speak, so I have to talk in front of thousands of people today. Anyways, I feel very ready and very prepared. Amanda and I are about to go off the trail. It's only like 6.40 right now. I haven't been ice rolling lately and my face has been like a puffer fish. I lived probably like 22 years of my life before my face started getting puffy. And then one day I just woke up, all of a sudden, blowfish. Like, it was zero to 100, you know? So anyways, if y'all are new here, subscribe. We're going back to college today. I'm really excited. Maybe I'll join a sorority. Speaking to all of the girls for, I think it's like brush week, I'm pretty positive. So yeah, we're going back to college. All right guys, this is gonna have to do. So I'm ordering, I'm waiting for Amanda, which I do for about half of my life, I'm in the car, and I'm ordering a Starbucks online because, oh my god guys, I really got into some drama. So there's a Starbucks in Dallas, the one on Knox. I made a TikTok about this that like literally everyone knows is the worst Starbucks in Dallas. Like the vibe of the Starbucks is just off. It's very dark. So I made a TikTok with the audio being like everyone, whatever. And like, look at those comments. Everyone agreed with me and I was kidding. And it wasn't about the workers at all. It was about the like vibe of the Starbucks. It's always like dirty, it's dark. It's just, I don't know, and apparently they told me that their customers suck and they're mean and like whatever. But anyways, like, they saw that TikTok and one of them said something to me and they thought it was funny, but now I'm just like so humiliated. So I'm just gonna continue to mobile order. Amanda's coming in with her flashlight on um, because like, I can't show my face there. So I'm mobile ordering my Starbucks. Your flashlight's on, I'm vlogging. Um, I was telling them why I have to mobile order so that um, I never, like, cause I just humiliated myself with that Starbucks. Wait, what happened? The TikTok. Wait, the, it like they like know. Yes, I told you that forever ago. Yeah, but we still would oh. go in. Yeah, I know. I mean, I do, but like I keep my head down, and they hate me because like now they're like really cold to me. So I'm like, oh my god, what did I do? What did I do? I try to make one funny joke. You're literally... one funny joke, and it wasn't even about the workers. It really wasn't. It was about the vibe of the summer. Well, Honestly, you can agree would, it off. Yeah, but I would be mad too god. if I was a worker. But I wasn't even talking about that. I was talking about the vibe of the Starbucks. Yeah, but and I didn't even say anything. It was literally just audio of like, ooh, it's spooky. Cause it is spooky, and you know what? They agreed. The workers said the exact same thing. And now they hate you. So. Yeah, which I get. But like, the thing is, I'm just like not a mean person. I never talk about anyone. And then one time I make a joke about and the TikTok. And the one time you do. Oh, exactly. anyways. But like, honestly, I stand by it. It really does No, take way. it down. Why? Because maybe they'll be nicer to us. No, I mean like, the girl loves me. The one that talked to me about it. Yeah, the one. Oh which honestly, sorry, would be too much for me. I get it, but. No, I would love it. Um. It would fulfill all my barista dreams. Amanda, you don't like doing things for people. But yet, here <laughs> I am in life. The actual author of everyone's life. How does that work? Of everyone? We have a very equal friendship. Yeah, you are <laughs> one out of literally a billion. Name also, by the way, more people were saying life. they loved you in the vlog last time. Because you one? were twerking. The birthday vlog oh, went up this week. Oh, it, it went up. Oh, I told you. Why would you put that part in it? Because you said Kinsey vlog this. So what are this for my personal? No, she's lying. So anyways, we're going no, to Starbucks. And I'm really sorry to the Starbucks. You guys are great people. Exactly. It's Make the sure you vibe of the Starbucks. It was not you We guys. like you guys. Oh yeah, we like you guys. It's just, it feels dark in there. Eerie. And we like our Starbucks drinks. The drinks are good. Too. I'm going to change my name on the mobile order app so they don't start messing it up because it's mine. Honestly, yeah. I can't believe I have so much drama with Starbucks. I'm literally humiliated. Guys, I'm sorry. I never, the ever. Entire this is why I time. keep my mouth Shot, okay. All right, guys. I'm going in. I'm scared. This is my formal apology to Starbucks. I'm sorry. No, I really am, guys. I'm so embarrassed. It's so crazy here. We got here and only one drink was ready, and it said our order was done five minutes ago. I'm telling you, they know. They know. Mm. Got lucky.
right guys i'm back home i'm using a new camera actually it's not a new camera it is an old camera that i used to use it's the canon i think m50 with a wider lens and it's kind of like re-inspiring with youtube again like this looks so much better you know and it makes me want to film the only problem is that the camera is so big so the reason i stopped using it was because i just like wasn't vlogging when i went out like i can't put it in my purse you know and it looks a little bit excessive like i look like a like a vlogger vlogger you know, and like I'm not really like a vlogger vlogger, I'm like a vlogger. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, I'm back from my vlog. I'm feeling incredible. Stopped by my father's house and I'm now getting ready for the day. I'm so far not really nervous. I'm kind of excited, which is like crazy. Um, I normally don't like hate public speaking. I like it better when I don't know anyone. But when I first like agreed to this, I just thought it was gonna be like 400 girls. I didn't think it was gonna be like three to 5,000. You know what I mean? But in my 25th year, I decided already that I, oh, that I was gonna do things that scare me. And so here we are one weekend and I'm doing this, you know? Um, so that's really something. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the flawless filter as a primer. I'm actually not gonna film this entire thing um, because like I just, you know, I don't feel like it. I need to practice my speech. I pretty much have it memorized. I will be having an iPad. If I was wearing those like Saint Laurent boots and like the tight jeans, I would feel like a youth pastor. But I'm not talking about that stuff, don't worry. So anyways, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I've never even really, actually I think I went to TCU once when I was like 10. So I'm excited to see it's in my favorite place ever, Fort Worth, Texas. It's like the best place in the entire world. So I am excited. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing in a sec, but just need to get ready really quick. Okay, I just talked to myself in the mirror the whole time and read the my or just did my speech completely off memory. So I'm feeling good about this. I blew out my hair with the dye stand and I did my makeup. I just still need to put lipstick on. When you do your makeup and you don't put anything on your lips, you look like really weird. So anyways, I'm gonna get changed. Um, and then I think Amanda's coming back over and then Lindsay, my manager, is picking me up. For those of you who don't know, Amanda and I have been friends for years and we like lived in LA at the same time too. So we were friends in LA. She now works for my management company and she's with my manager. So she's like on my management team. Um, so if you guys have seen Amanda vlogs years before, uh, we just have been friends forever. But she also, we like work together now. So anyways, it is hot. Also guys, my robe, like, is there anything more perfect than this robe? No, the answer is no. So um, it's time for me to get ready now. I'm right at the mark for 25 minutes. This week is to be 25 minutes. Um, and I'm like right at that mark, but I'm worried when I get up there, I'll talk too fast and it'll be shorter. I'll forget things. So I'm gonna like really try to talk slow and articulate my words, you know? All right, y'all, I'm now ready for the day. The only issue is that these shorts, they're samples from the Okine of just shorts we didn't end up releasing. They were like the first back up, so they would have been better, but they wrinkle. Like I'm not against wrinkles here. You know, what I am against clearly is a steamer. I don't want to steam clothes and I don't want to iron them. And so I don't care. Like I'm just going to wear them. Anyways, but um, these didn't need that. And then as I like got ready and was moving in them, they really wrinkled up a little bit. I feel like maybe I'm just like being a little bit more dramatic about it. These shoes are Revolve, the Ray, the Ray heels. Guys, I'm going to make an entire on my Revolve storefront. I'm going to do an entire section of comfortable heels because I was telling someone this week and we were in Fredericksburg and they were commenting on another pair of shoes I was wearing. I was saying you have to have to get Ray or LPA heels from Revolve because I'm such a wimp when it comes to heels or I used to be and now I wear them all the time. And I'm telling you, it's because I just found two brands that are very comfortable. Um, my bodysuit is Skims and I'm already worried about like staining it, but I have this Princess Polly blazer. And if I stain it, look, zip this up, you know, button this up and then we're good to go. So here I am. I'm gonna be sitting, I think for this speech. I'm not really sure gonna have my iPad. Like if you two grew up somehow affiliated with the church, don't I seem like I'm like preaching to them? It's kind of traumatic. Um, just kidding, but I will, oh, a chair. Here I am, this will be me. Hello adults of TCU. Welcome to my TED talk. TED talks are only 20 minutes and my speech is 25. So I think that says something. I'm really hyper today, but I'm still not that like nervous. Like I'm sure when I see the people and like this, the stage situation will be like, oh. I think I'm just disassociating until after. I think that's what I'm doing. 
I'm getting picked up in about 30 minutes. Amanda's supposed to be coming back here, but uh, she's always late. So we'll see. Also, I have my oil on my legs. It just takes forever to soak in. So then everyone hates being around me because I just get oil everywhere. But like once it soaks in, your legs are just so moisturized. You know, it's a really tough life. All right, I'm gonna go see the dogs out, but this is my look, my final look. Oh wait, I haven't even put my look cute because it's brown, so my Chanel bag with it. Like, oh wow. What a cute look. Wow, okay, great. Hello everyone, um, here I am with Lindsay. Hi. And Amanda is still here. Um, <laughs> and we just made it to TCU really early, so we're driving around, but this is like a very pretty campus. The title of this vlog is I'm going back to college. So here I am, guys. Guys, they have Alfred matcha syrup here. No, stop. You, no, that's Amanda. Oh my God, you're literally humiliating me. This is Dwell, but they got bought out. They're gonna be something else. Um, best day ever, and that's like, uh, if you know, you know. Really old, really, really old. It's really cute. Oh, wow. How are you feeling, Kensington? Good, actually. Wow, Alfred um, matcha. What a good surprise. Honestly, that really This works. camera makes me so much more excited to vlog. Like, it just looks better. Yeah. No, it's old, but I'm back to it. Guys, I just got matcha on my shorts. Here's the thing though, I can cover it with my blazer. This is not real. Uh, like we were leaving and I did it. Ugh. Oh yeah, it's, but I feel like once it dries maybe. Oh yeah, it's coming out. Oh, perfect. Oh my God, that was so hot. Oh my God, my ass is on fire. I that was know. Really oh. This, like Griffin, that is so crazy. Because like, yeah. <gasps> it was Ariana Grande, right? Or no? Fifth Harmony only? It was Fifth Harmony only. That is, oh wait, it was Live Nation. It was a Live Nation deal. It was, it was a Live Nation deal? Okay, so guys, we're trying to figure out the camera, obviously. We've got it, we've got it. So we're here at the stadium. Oh my gosh, the, the, the students are already in their seat. Let's, let's show them, let's show them. How do you feel, Lindsay? I'm so excited for our girl. Me too! She's gonna count. Okay, we made it. Doing a little sound check, that will be me. Um, have you shown them around? Let me show them. Let me give you guys a little... A little tour. Are you sure you're everything? I'm good. <laughs> Lindsay, you didn't really stop on her much, but... So I can't, here's the thing, I can't obviously step on the court because yeah. things are happening here. <laughs> How are you okay. feeling? Good. I'm, I thought I was gonna be like way more nervous. Can you give us an update like, on like the matcha? I'm like jittery today, but I'm not nervous. Can oh, you I'm, give us an update on oh, your matcha thing? Let's see. Thing? It's still there a little bit, but you can't see it. Honestly, it's not super obvious. Yeah. Not obvious but at all. It'll be good. Okay, well anyways, we'll see you guys later, bye. We just finished the speech, but I'm taking a little thumbnail over here. I actually love TCU. Me too. I should have gone here. Pony up though, bitches. Oh, okay. Well, anyways. Oh, drive through. Oh my gosh. I told you I belong here. I'm getting a little drive through margarita. I belong here. Classic margarita, strawberry mm. margarita, mm. mango, ooh, rita colada. It's kind of weird, but I'm kind of uh, strawberry or watermelon. What do you think? It's strawberry. But like watermelon kind of sounds refreshing. Uh, okay, I'll do strawberry because I know I'll like it. Okay. And then I also need a water. I like still haven't eaten Which today fully. Want, can I do mango, Rita? Yes. What, can I do mine frozen? I feel like I'm um, oh. a kid, like in my mom's car right now. The Am I even doing this Yeah, right? there. Okay, are they oh, open? Guys, look. oh yeah, open sign. I mean, this is like, thank you, Isabel. Like, this is truly something else. Oh, this is so special right How here. Cute. This is so special. Yeah, I wish you guys all the best. Wait, can you 
I mean, like. Thank you, you. appreciate it. Amanda, you have to take your, wow. So this good. is the best day of my life, like truly. This is so, like amazing. All right guys, here's a little taste test. Oh, oh my God. This just might be the best thing I've ever had. Oh my God, I need to expand my frozen mark tours. And it's like spicy, I didn't realize. And my frozen mark tours to Fort Worth. I need to explain everything to Fort Worth, guys. I'm gonna retire here. This is all, Lindsay's laughing, but it's cause she knows. This is all I've ever needed. Oh my God, I might just drive here for this. I'm not even kidding. So guys, everyone go here. Casa Rita, everyone come. Back home and Amanda and I are actually about to make some marks because I need to do it for a deal and like, you know, why not? But I wanted to show you guys what Dawn got me for my birthday. It's such a good gift. I don't know if she just remembered that I wanted this or what. Um, she really killed it. Look at it. Bella and Edward. There is no one who loves the Twilight series more than I do. There's a rewatch podcast right now, The Twilight Effect. I know I've talked about this on this channel so many times. It is my ultimate comfort podcast. I listen to it 24 seven. Also today, as, we, as I'm like filming this vlog, Jeanette McCurdy's new book comes out, which I'm so excited. I want to read the entire thing tonight. It's raining out, which like, if you know me, rain is like the best. Like my dad texted me. He was like, I'm sure you're happy it's raining. It's like, literally the best thing ever. So once we make these marks, I'm going to be reading for the night. I also really need to pack for Nantucket. But like, I have so much reading to do and so little time. I also should work, but uh, I feel like I've done enough work today. So beach went well, really fun. Um, I'm glad that I did it because now that I like got speaking, that was probably like three or four thousand, don't you think? Amanda? What? Three or four thousand people? Yeah. It's crazy because like, it, I felt like it was going to feel bigger. Bigger. And yeah. it really like, I mean, obviously it was big, but I was preparing myself for the absolute worst. Like when I agreed to this in my head, I was picturing like 400 people. Um, so now that I got that out of the way, I like feel totally comfortable with it. And so <laughs> other colleges hit me up. I will be there, especially Texas ones or like Harvard, you know, <laughs> can you imagine? Anyways, I'm going to get out my stuff to make these Mars, but like, I can't get over how cute this is. I'm going to have to wear this out soon. Like it's so fun. Oh my God. I just love it. <laughs> Bella and Edward. I love you. Like I could do a Twilight rewatch podcast. I'm not like even super into like rewatch stuff, even though it's doing really well. Um, actually, I guess I kind of am. No, really, it's just Twilight. I would, oh, and you know what? No, I listened to the Friday Night Eggs one and I listened to some of the Wonder Hill. Those are like my top favorite shows, so. Maybe I am into it and I just didn't realize it. Comment below your favorite show. Um, growing up, you guys obviously know um, my bestie Presley and then I think Tess was there and a few other girls that we're still friends with that are probably not in the vlogs, but like I'm still good friends with them. We had a twilight party at my dad's house. Um, my parents were newly divorced, so I think my dad felt bad for me. And there's a photo of us out in his backyard and we had a whole twilight themed like sleepover, like slumber party, whatever. And then we all just celebrated Tess's birthday at my dad's backyard. And it was really cute. My dad was like, oh my God, he's a very sentimental sort of guy, but it was twilight and things have not changed. I'm literally 25. I mean, it's actually like so cute. I can't wait to wear this. Wow. Love. Okay. Well, anyways, off to make some marks. All right, y'all. I made the drink. You will have to go see it on um, stories and TikTok, but I'm telling you, it is so good. Technically, this is for our ideal, but it's the bread clay set I think I was already telling y'all about. It is like so good. I'm gonna buy them for every single one of my friends. It's a really good housewarming gift. And this marg is incredible. And I also use their red clay hot sauce or something. I'm totally blanking on the name. Um, I'm not gonna like drink this whole thing because I already had a marg today and it's like Tuesday. I needed to make it for a video, but obviously I've been doing some taste testing, if you will. And this is really good. It's the cl red clay margarita from red clay, just in general, the hot sauce. Um, it's on their re recipe. It's on the recipes page. Like, it is so good. I'm gonna start making this as like my getting ready drink. It is so good. I cannot get over it. Wow. Anyways, you know what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight? I'm gonna make Velveeta mac and cheese because it is kind of raining out. It's a little bit gloomy. I'm gonna put on the morning toast. Um, watch that as I make my gourmet dinner, and then I'm just gonna get in bed early tonight. And I'm really looking forward to it. Today's been actually a really good day. So, anyways, we have to get. We have to get to business. 
All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if y'all are new here. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff. Um, this weekend, I'm going to Nantucket. I don't know when this video is going up, but we have lots of vlogs coming. An Nantucket video, I'm doing like a solo, single life era, day in my life kind of thing. You guys are gonna love it. Like I'm feeling revamped when it comes to YouTube. So anyways, love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Like I just thrive in the morning. But how early do you wake up? Six. Okay, so when you wake up at six, are you like, oh my God, I am so happy yeah. that I'm awake right now. Like you're not even tired? No. Okay, I like so jump. My, maybe we're a little bit different. My husband thinks I'm like actually psychotic because I have the most energy in the morning. Honestly, when do you go to bed? Like eleven. Okay, that's actually crazy. But you are actually. I, I do like ten thirty to eleven, so like seven to seven and a half hours. 